It is 5:11 on a first alert action day Tuesday. We want to help you hit the road with your odds for travel hazards forecast focus in this half hour of Carolina in the morning. It is NC Highway 11 from Freeman Columbus County to the four way stop at 87 Atkinson Penderley points north. A chance that you run into some rain slickened roads as we've already have some showers blossoming on radar. They'll be scattered and winds would be light to moderate for this morning, generally increasing so we get to those gusts in the 40s, 50s miles an hour, perhaps even some 60 plus gusts as we head into the evening. So it's a process right now. Windy enough in Ocean Isle Beach on your West Shore home. First alert Sky Cam Network. There's some rain in the air as well, kind of blowing in off Long Bay in the Atlantic Ocean. And there's been some rain in Wilmington Metro as well. Downtown, the view from the Murkison building offers good enough visibility in between some of these scattered showers. Wilmington Airport hanging on to a temperature of 47 degrees with a light northerly component to the easterly breeze flow. But a lot of spots are turning over to a southerly wind component and the temperatures rising quickly through the 50s where that happens. Uh, right now, the wind speeds are kind of pedestrian on the order of 5 to 10 miles an hour. But again, they're going to gust in the 40s, 50s, locally higher than 60 miles an hour later today. And so there's your breakdown of 40s and 50s. Step outside temperatures, certainly not one size fits all as this frontal system moves through and augments the temperatures. So here's your scattered showers. Light to moderate right now. Certainly some breaks in between. If you're expecting an all day rain, don't. There's going to be some breaks because we're really on the eastern periphery of the system, especially to start. But you can see how loaded the system is to our west with some heavy thunderstorms mixing in with some of the rain. So when it's all said and done this evening, one to locally three inches of rain will have caused some ponding and localized drainage flooding. The wind component of this system certainly inspiring you to keep loose yard items stowed and as Mara was saying, getting your devices on a charger, making sure they have juice in case you lose power is a good practice. Keep an eye to your WECT weather app in the afternoon to early evening from the inland areas to the coast. The risk window for severe rated storms, damaging winds, isolated spin up tornadoes. It's there. And of course, on the water, gales, even a storm warning for portions of our offshore waters, rough and dangerous surf and minor flooding at the evening high tide. It's all part of the narrative today. Let me take you with this sky conditions model from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. You see an hour corner of Carolina increasing showers and storms through dinner time. How quick is this? It's out east by 10 11 p.m. as we wrap up this first alert action day. Bill Murray, we finish your seven day forecast with MLK Day on Monday, and there'll be another chance of showers in between today and then, especially Friday and Friday night. Definitely got to get through this system first. Back to you.